Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham and I'm at the 2019 New World Metals Conference here in Perth. And I am with Andrew Radonjic, who's the Managing Director of Venture Minerals. Now, Andrew, uh, normally we we'll be, would we'll, we'll be catching up on uh, the latest news from the Riley Iron Ore Project down in Tasmania, uh, which is ticking along nicely, I believe. Yes. It is. That, that's now towards uh, uh, production. But um, in the during the meanwhile, you have a little bit of uh, news uh, came through this week in regards to the Mount Lindsay Tin Project, also in Tasmania. Uh, can you just fill us in on the details of that, please? Yes, Wally. We, uh, we put in some submissions for some co-funding on some exploration drilling. So uh, as you... As uh, listeners may recall, we uh, we said we did a, uh, a brand new electromagnetic survey, airborne survey, back in uh, in Easter earlier this year, and uh, you know we put some submissions on the back of the preliminary results, and uh, we got you know uh, the three holes we put submissions in for, we got co-funding for up to just over two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, nice. Hmm. Okay, so well, well, basically, yeah, what does that allow you to do? Well, that uh, that goes towards. Uh, you know the cost of drilling and if the and, and any helicopter support so there's um three holes on some uh, you know pretty pretty nice looking em targets um you know and they're they're generally um you know we've got a combination of sort of mount lindsay sort of style tin tungsten scarm deposits so we've always believed we've had the potential for more of these and we've always told the market as you know 10 percent of our targets have been tested so far and there's many more to come but, you know, the EM's helped us rank a few of those and, uh, you know, we've got funding from the government drill um, two of those and we've also got a very interesting uh, EM, a very large uh, and strong EM anomaly sitting on a nickel anomaly within ultramafic. So, who knows, maybe a nickel sulphide as well. Time will tell, but that all that drilling is uh, all that funding, sorry, is for drilling to occur next year. Okay, well, that's, that's come at a pretty handy time because, like, like all right, uh, we'll backtrack and know that the uh, uh, the Riley Iron Ore Mine, uh, you know, that was uh, uh, on hold until the the price kicked in to make it worthwhile um, bringing on stream, mm. and so that was coming on stream, so the money could go towards Mount Lindsay, which is sort of um, being put on the back burner while Riley's um, yeah, yeah, coming in. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to um, get out and back onto Mount Lindsay to uh, get a, a little bit more action happening. Well, certainly as, as uh, with, you know, with production, uh, you know, very close and, and then obviously into cash flow uh, next year, you know, maybe towards the back of the end we can, uh, you know, have a, have a crack at these, um, these targets and uh, if the government's paying for half of that, then, you know, that's going to make it a lot more palatable. But, uh, you know, certainly uh, EM has got many other targets, which, uh, you know, we've got a target which looks like another Renison Bell, uh, which is quite handy, only 12 kilometres long strike, so we've got a coincidental magnetic anomaly, EM anomaly, sitting under an alluvial tin field, so it's ticking all the boxes. So it looks pretty exciting, and looks like we've also got some extensions to do to the other known Mount Lindsay deposits. So, yeah, look, the EM's come up uh, quite well. We had a lot of targets, it took a lot of time to sort of rank those targets, yeah, but yeah. Uh, we, we finally got the back end of that. Obviously, that hasn't been priority. We've been focusing on getting the, the iron ore mine back into production. And uh, but uh, the good news coinciding with the uh, release of the uh, results of the funding, the co-funding from the government uh, is well timed. Right. Yeah. Well, um, I suppose now we just sort of uh, well, we'll, we'll sit, you won't sit back, but we'll sit back and wait for the results for all that. Yeah, you'll be out there busy doing all the work. So uh, yeah, we'll kick back and uh, sort of wait till uh, early next year. I'd assume that we start getting a bit of news through from those. Well, I'll look hopefully maybe even a bit before, depending for Christmas. You know, yeah. we're we're uh, you know basically not going anywhere, so we're just keeping the push yeah, push yeah. things through, and you know people are on standby to uh, you know to uh, forego their Christmas breaks, and uh, if we've got to get the mine up and running and start mining the ore, um, if we get that, you know, we're waiting on that. You know, the key thing is that road access agreement um, that's uh, very very close, and um, once that's done, then uh, you know digging the ore, it's that surface zero yeah. strip ratio. Um, we can start that immediately and, you know, lock some shipments away. So, uh, no, everyone's, you know, we were talking the off-take parties, uh, off-take party, sorry, that we've got the agreement with, so they're fully aware, you know, that, um, you know, we were targeting, always targeting Q4, but, uh, you know, there is some flexibility there. Yep. So, uh, you know, they understand that these projects, um, you know, sometimes go a little bit beyond. So yeah. we haven't done any, it hasn't gone beyond 
anything which is abnormal. So yeah. yeah. No, I think we're we're on track to uh, still be delivering that uh, that product uh, in in the very near future. Okay. Terrific. All right. Well, all the best with that, and uh, you know, enjoy the rest of this year. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you uh, early next year. Uh, um, at Explorers Conference, Explorers, I'd say. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be here before you know it. Yes, it will be. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, mate. Good right. to see you. All the best. Thanks. Thank you.